Yeah, well here we have uh, Nissan Duke Nismo and this is the first time that anybody has seen this particular model. We showed the, uh, the show car at Geneva and Tokyo but uh, the model that we can see here, this is the production production based model so all of the plastic work and the detail work that changed this from a Duke to a Duke Nismo, these are all the production parts. Um, there are some differences on the grill here we had to make for uh, safety reasons and there's some detail changes here which help us to manufacture the parts and uh, you can see all of the, the Nismo detailing, the, the colour scheme that we're going to start to adopt with, when we uh, launch our Nismo products. So this is another beast altogether, this is uh, Duke R. Um, Duke R is basically a GTR platform, we shortened the platform and then we just popped on the top, simple as that, a Duke body. Is it as simple as that? If you take a look inside, then you'll find it's actually a racing space frame inside that we built, uh, but we managed to keep all of the Duke uh, GTR running gear. Uh, so the GTR engine under here, we kept the four-wheel drive system, it all works exactly as it did on the, uh, on the GTR. Only we had to reduce the wheelbase by about 200 millimetres. Uh, when we first uh, built the car, we weren't sure whether that would work. Uh, 200 millimetres out of the wheelbase was a bit of a challenge, but we took it on the track. We took racing drivers with us because I didn't dare drive it. And the uh, racing drivers put it through its paces and actually it handles as well, maybe just a little bit better than the GTR. So it's a, a great project to have worked on. Yeah, we, the, the Duke Nismo that we're going to sell is about 200 brake horsepower, 1.6 direct injection gasoline turbo. Uh, this is a GTR engine. It's actually not the latest GTR engine in these ones. We used uh, some older cars. We had to do that because uh, they wouldn't let us have a new car because they would have found out what we were doing. So it was a bit of a skunk works. This one will produce about 450 brake horsepower. And uh, it goes. <laughs> it goes very well. So what we've got here is a Delta Wing, or a model of the Delta Wing. So this is our car that we've uh, brought to Le Mans in uh, so-called Project 56, or Garage 56. This is a garage that allows you to run outside of the rules. So we're just uh, basically racing ourselves. Uh, this is a really innovative concept, as you can see, it's called Delta Wing. Uh, you're sort of probably saying, well, where is the wing? Well, actually, this area here is the wing. It's basically, uh, in principle, it's uh, an air like an aeroplane wing but upside down so it's actually trying to make the car not fly um, and that's what uh, keeps it on the ground. Uh, we've got weight distribution about uh, I think it's about 28 percent, 72 percent at the rear. Um, it's driven by a 1.6 uh, direct injection uh, gasoline turbo engine. Similar construction to uh, a Nissan Duke. It's, um, it's an aluminium cylinder head, it's an aluminium block uh, you know, it's got four cylinders, two camshafts, but it's actually a racing engine. Uh, there is some uh, direct similarity. The, the actual throttle chamber on the engine in the cars that are running at Le Mans uh, this weekend is from a 1.6 normally aspirated Duke. So if any of the fans here have driven down in one of those, we've taken the throttle chamber directly off that and it's uh, in the car. We also use some uh, similar technology in terms of uh, reducing the friction in the engine and uh, it's also testing new technologies like electric water pumps and things which we will add to the Duke uh, as we continue to try and reduce its CO2. Um, when we first saw the car, the first reaction is, will it go around corners? I've been talking to the drivers this morning and uh, they assure me it does go around corners. It actually goes around corners really quickly. Um, it goes around, there's a particular set of bends here called Porsche curves and uh, Michael Crum has told me that he goes around there better than anything he's ever been around uh, the Porsche Curves in, so that's really uh, pleasing. We're running a time in, in the race which is about, uh, well, it's, we've got position 29 on the grid, which is about in the middle of uh, LMP2. Uh, it's exactly where we want to be. Uh, the organisers have told us we can't run faster than LMP2, uh, and we don't want to run slower than them, we don't want the GT cars catching us up, so we're in absolutely the right position that we want to be. We're hoping to put on a real good demonstration of the technology and maybe uh, ask some questions about what the future of uh, sports car racing is with a car like this. So what we've got here is a uh, Nismo Leaf RC. This is an uh, um, electric racing car. It's a demonstrator car. There's no championship for it to run in yet. Um, 
The technology that is underneath here is basically part race car and part Nissan Leaf. The Nissan Leaf that you can now buy as an electric vehicle. So it's got, uh, actually the Nissan Leaf would carry all of its uh, motor and uh, running gear here and then it would carry its battery at the rear but in this case, everything is at the rear for, for the balance of the racing car. So the battery, motor, inverter technology is all under here, pretty standard. Uh, we've even managed to keep a, kind of a standard shape of the headlamp to give it some feel. But clearly we've lowered the car, we've widened the car, we've put a proper racing space frame in it, uh, added the wings and everything. This is uh, kind of ready to race, but there's no championship to race it in. So the question now is, where could we race this in the future? And that's. Uh, discussions that are ongoing between ourselves and people like the uh, FIA to try and find a championship to race these kind of cars. Um, I'm not sure whether it would race really well on a big open circuit because it's rather quiet, in fact it's silent, uh, but what it does uh, suggest is we could have stadium races. There is no emissions, so you could run it in a stadium very easily and because it's so quiet you can also run it in the city without disturbing too many people. So we think the future of uh, electric car racing is probably away from Le Mans but in, uh, in a new setting or a new uh, environment where we can uh, attract a different or maybe the same motorsport fans and maybe some new motorsport fans into that environment.